Hello, my reselling family and friends. My name is Esmeralda, and this is Reselling on the Side with Esme. Hey, there's a picture of me at the bottom. I'm at my mom's, and uh, <laughs> that's when I was in my 20s. Um, I wanted to do a video about my sales in July. Now, remember, I'm a little part-time Macari reseller. I do it as a fun hobby. I wanted to share my sales because maybe in what I'm doing, you can figure out something for yourself or your own business. Maybe you can find patterns of what you thought was happening and then you realize something different or not as much as you thought. So let me show you what I mean. July was an awesome month for me. I sold 29 items and it was mostly due to the love and support of my fellow resellers, mostly from Dominic's Facebook group, the Reselling Resource Center. I'm in it to home items to where they'll be loved by someone new, not necessarily to make a big buck, but I do enjoy making a profit so I can buy more stuff. All right, so here we go. I bought these two milk glass goblets at a garage sale where I wasn't really finding much, but I wanted to buy something to help the lady. So these were a quarter each and they sold for six plus shipping. So I made 443 profit and they sold in 26 days. I love paper and when I found these, there were three of these uh, like booklet types of craft paper. I decided to sell two and keep one, sold it for nine plus shipping. So I made 654 profit because it cost me a dollar and it took only one day to sell. This pair of bass bookends made of pewter, I got an estate sale. They were only a dollar each, so I started pretty high. And uh, 133 days later, I accepted an offer of $10 plus shipping. So I made $6.41 profit, and I made somebody very happy with these bookends. <laughs> Now here's another, I wanted to buy something from the person. So this was the only thing I walked away with. I paid a dollar for this napkin holder, stainless steel. And luckily somebody from the Facebook group bought it. I can't remember right now your name, but thank you so much. I did profit $5.67. And this little one only took seven days to sell. This learn to play rock guitar book, I bought it at Black Friday. It was the day I went on 50 cent day. So thank goodness, cause it only sold for six and I made 4.43 profit and it only took nine days to sell. I did have to erase some pencil writing inside the book, but it was okay. All right, this was from the very first time I went to the return store, the Amazon return store called Black Friday. And it was $3 day and I was surprised at how messy the place was. And when I found this, I thought, well, I think filters go for good money. So I went ahead and bought it and I listed it and it took 32 days, which is a month. It sold for $14. So I made $8.89 profit. Now this was a special order sale from one of the friends in Facebook. Hi, Pamster. And she wanted this. So I put it up, that's why it took only a day to sell because she asked me for it. It was an American Eagle tin sign reproduction. I have a whole bunch of signs of flowers, vegetables, one other eagle, and I need to put them up. So thank you, Pamster. I, did I say I made 391 profit? Yay. And this was another sale to a wonderful friend on the Facebook group. Hey, Sylvia. And she bought two things from me. First, this llama cup. Uh, I had bought it at the same place that the lady, I bought the goblets for a quarter, got this for a quarter. And she also got this Kiss keychain from me. I got this in a mystery box a long time ago. So that has been up more than a year. I thank you so much, Sylvia. Let me see uh, these. So yeah, the keychain took 431 days to sell. The cup took 10 days. So overall I made 797. Thank you, Sylvia. This is an exciting sale. My husband has heard me jibber jabber about, oh, people sell free stuff, free boxes from their phones. And he's like, what? So at work, the they were getting new phones issued to the workers and he collected some boxes. Well, let me tell you, these two empty boxes sold for 14 plus shipping. So I made 11.89 profit off of free, empty boxes 
and it took one day to sell. This next was a bundle request by a Facebook friend, Stony. Hey, Stony! And she wanted this old purse, not old, okay. Uh, one of my purses that I decided I didn't want it anymore. Uh, this large yellow tulip flower cup and this trinket box in the shape of a Bible. Um, the thing is, okay, they were up for like 45 days, so I'm glad they sold. But when I was wheeling and dealing with her, making her a deal, I wound up making less than a dollar profit. So, hey, I'm glad it went to a friend. Okay, get your Kleenex out because this is going to be sad. This Lady Avon perfume bottle, uh, I bought it at a flea market. And Jesse, one of the cool kids from Dominic's Facebook group, she said, I, uh, I want it. So I put it up and she bought it and I made her a deal. And we paid a lot for shipping because I was going to send her something else that I wanted to give her. And unfortunately, that thing broke. A boo hoo. I really wanted her to have that mushroom jar oh i'll keep looking for another one jesse but thank you for buying this and giving her a nice home even though i misspelled avon <laughs> now this movie was also a sale to a facebook friend hey bill you saved me bill my husband bought this for us to watch and i don't like scary movies so after 129 days <laughs> you bought it and i made 828 profit i appreciate you this was also sold to a Facebook friend. Hey, Lori. And there's a cute story behind this. My husband and I went to a community garage sale. And as we were driving around, there was this table and it said free stuff. So I told him to stop. And he's like, what for? There's only going to be junk there. I said, I bet I'll find something that I can sell. And Lori, you helped me prove my point. This movie sold for $9. So I made a uh, $3.89 profit because I paid for shipping, which I don't normally do. But... Um, it took 71 days to sell and for free, I will take it. I was really trying to show my husband because I even took a picture of it on the dashboard, as you can see. And yes, it did sell. So you know what? The best pictures aren't always what sells. It's the content. And you must love Oklahoma. <laughs> and here's the other card stock that I bought. And I sold that one for 10 with shipping uh, on top. So I made 741 profit. This is something I also bought at the Amazon return store Black Friday. I paid $3 and it took 33 days to sell. It was a nice $14 sale plus shipping. So I made $8.89 on this lovely item. Keeping in the theme of pets, this next sale also from the Black Friday $3 day uh, is a Herpetarium heat lamp. Now there was a ton of these in the store and I regret now not buying them all. I bought two of them thinking if they sell okay i'll go back well um i put in the listing you know selling one but i have two and let me know it sold for 13 dollars plus shipping so i made eight dollars and two cent profit that took 48 days to sell well when he received it he told me thank you do you have another one so later on you'll see that i sold another one to the same person this snow white and the seven dwarfs plate was so cute it was hefty five dollars at the garage sale but i fell in love with it and i thought somebody will want it and sure enough sylvia from the facebook group bought it so i made three dollars and 41 cents and i hope you enjoy it sylvia so how many of you raise your hand have watched other youtubers and say wow i'm gonna try that so i've been watching cajun chris and he does awesome at selling plush so that saturday i was finding plush everywhere 25 cents 50 cents a dollar so i bought i bought a bunch and guess what they don't sell for me thanks a lot chris i blame you now nah, but anyway i made a profit of a dollar 81 off each little beanie boo the monkey took 77 days and the owl took 83 days and I still have a bunch listed and a bunch I still have to list. <laughs> okay, we're on number 23, okay? <laughs> These are raised pet bowls. I found them for a, a, a quarter or 50 cents, I can't remember. And I sold them. I was going to keep them, but nah, my cats have enough bowls. So 26 days to sell, $11 and shipping on top. So I made $8.78 on another pet item. This is my best selling item from July. Party Light Verona Versatility Sconce. 
There was two of these at the garage sale. Each one was $5 and I bought them both and I took pictures of them both together. Oh, that was hard to take that much picture of. I had to use my floor and there was nibbles, but nobody ever bought. And so I decided, let me try to sell them one at a time. And that's the magic. It sold for $25 plus shipping. So I made $16 and 48 cents. Woot woot. Here's another pity buy. I felt bad, but I wanted to buy something. So these little patches were 25 cents each and I, I put them up for sale and it took 94 days to sell, but I made $2.68 profit and I hope I made some little kid happy. Here's another sale that went to one of my Facebook friends. Hey, Patty, Professor Patty. She bought this mouse pad and I bought this at Black Friday 50 cent day. So it was on sale for 33 days and I made $1.81 profit and Patty got herself a new mouse pad. So in addition to toys, I need to stay away from books. I bought this Where's Waldo thinking, all right, somebody's going to want to find Waldo. Eh, 109 days later, somebody paid $3 plus shipping. So I made $1.81 and this was to somebody also in the Facebook group and I can't remember your name. Thank you. Initially, I bought this for myself. It was only a quarter and I thought I could use it somehow, but I eventually decided to try to sell it. So eh, it sold for $3, took 86 days and I made $2.06 profit. Okay. So the last item for July was that second heat lamp and it sold in that same day because the guy asked for it and it profited me $8.02. Well, I'm glad you stuck around through all the things that sold in July. I mean, it's not often I sell that. <laughs> and um, now for the awesome culmination of having done this research. In putting together this video, I came up with some fascinating revelations. Let me share. What I realized, even though I like the idea of toys, I need to not concentrate on that because look at that. I spent $1.50 on these three items and I only profited $6.30. Eh. You know, and I love estate sales, but I make more money off garage sale finds because I find really cheap stuff and I make more profit because of that low cost. And another eye-opening area that I want to do more in is look for craft items. People will pay for their hobbies. And of course, my favorite item to sell is home decor. So that was an okay month. But the really big eye opener in addition to crafts was pet stuff. I got to look for more pet stuff. And let's not forget free. Free is awesome. All right. So what do you think about my revelations? Ooh, I know what to target, what not to target. Toys, books. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so let me know what you, in listening to my thoughts, what are you going to focus on different or what is eye opening for you? I would love to hear it in the comments. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.